On active weather days like today, it can be difficult to keep up with all of the weather terminology our meteorologists send your way. Yeah, it sure could. And that might change soon as the National Weather Service is looking to simplify those weather warnings and they want your help to make sure everybody can understand what's going on. So a meteorologist Justin McKee is joining us now to uh, talk about how people can participate. Hey, John. Yeah, it's called the NWS Hazard Simplification Survey, and you're invited to get involved through August 21st. The National Weather Service has used watches, warnings, and advisories for decades to communicate weather hazards. Through social science research, the organization has concluded that those words can be misunderstood, misunderstood or confused. Phil Heisel is the warning coordination meteorologist at the NWS office in Blacksburg, and he says the elimination of advisories could make things more clear. We know watches mean we need to prepare. Warning means we need to take action. But the advisory is the least mis is the least understood term, and that is the uh, um, product name that we are proposing that is that should be eliminated. But again, we need the public's input before that decision is made. And we've included the link to the survey in the web version of this story on WSLS.com. If these changes are approved, they would be implemented in the next two to three years. Reporting in the studio, I'm meteorologist Justin McKee, 10 News, working for you.